Good evening, everyone. My name is Taskins, Code Primate, and I don't know why that's showing up like that. That is crazy. Anyhow, this is going to be Code Primate Labs. Um, I know I've been doing a lot of lumber stuff, but here we go. There we go. Fade, 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 fade. I am going to be doing um, something that I'm working on currently, which is my game Theus. Uh, if you've not seen this yet, I mean, it is pretty amazing. I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of what it is. Uh, it starts out, it's got two uh, ships as of right now. Basically, it's going to be a star fighting game where you're going to have teams and you're going to be able to blow each other up and, and it's it's different. It's not like a Robloxian game like you've ever played before. So, right here, it shows like you can fly around, right? But I wanted to show this to you that these are not just like little bitty models. These are actual meshes that I've created and texturized. So, uh, I've got a kill switch over here. Let's go back this direction. Go down to the kill switch. And boop. There we go. You have two different kinds of ships. But I've got room for a third ship. And I will be hiding Easter eggs and stuff like that inside the game itself. Probably not going to record those or let you guys see them. But anyhow, I wanted to show you the full... Uh-oh. What happened? Stop. I wanted to show you the full process of what it takes to actually make these things. Right here, I, I need a, a third ship. So, let's head over to Blender. Uh, and I'm just going to start right here. So, I pressed 1 so I could get into the first view like that. I'm going to press 5 so it goes into orth ortho mode. Which means that there is no more dimensions. Everything is exact size um, that means no matter how far away or how close it is it's always the same size and the reason I do that is so I can um, edit things to proportion to how they are and then I'll come out of that mode hello thank you uh, little Brian thank you so much for the subscribe appreciate it um, anyhow I'm gonna hit tab to go into um, edit mode and we're gonna hit subdivide and I'm gonna hit a to release everything I need to select the things behind it as well. So like, see how this is a three dimensional box? I need to select all these vertices on this side. So I'm gonna hit B to do a box select. I'm going to just box select all those like that. Then I'm gonna hit um, one to go back into the first person mode, X to delete. And I'm gonna delete all those vertices. So as you can see, I have a half box just like that. Whew, that's a lot of talking. Of course, we have a lot to go over. So please, uh, I apologize if it seems like I'm going really fast. Feel free to pause or tell me in the comments down below, like, code, slow down. But I get really excited about this stuff. Like, I'm, I am a developer at heart. I am a graphics designer at heart. I am a computer guy at heart. I love this stuff. So. <clears throat> oh, most. I almost drop my coffee on my keyboard that's not good okay so now we have this half box I'm gonna come over here to this modifier and I'm going to add a modifier called mirror and what that's gonna do whatever I do to the right side happens to the left side come out of ortho for just a second so you can see it's same same so if I grab this vertice right here I'm going to right click on that vertice hit G it does the same on both sides Okay, this way I can have something that is um, symmetrical, so it, it makes more of a ship look. And instead of doing that, I'm actually going to select the faces. We're going to grab these two right here. I'm going to hold shift to grab more than two. Hit E to extrude. Now if I hit G, we see that this is being clipped. I don't want these to clip, so hit Control Z. Control Z. Oh wait, 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 I gotta click. Control Z, Z. There we go. I don't want these to clip. So, grab. There we go. Or not clip. There we go. So everything should stay in alignment on that, that axis. Okay. Let's try it again. Extrude, pull it out just like that. I don't like the way that's looking, so let's go ahead and grab the vertices. Um, grab like this. I'm going to grab all these vertices and grab them on the x-axis. Just pull them out like that. That looks a little bit better. Um, let's grab 
Let's go back over to the faces. I'm going to grab these two faces. I'm going to shrink these down just a little bit. And I'm going to hit E to extrude again. Shrink. Oh, oh, oh come on. Grab these two. Uh, scale them down. Scale on the X axis down. Scale on the Z axis just a little bit. Extrude again. I'm going to grab and pull this down on the Z axis and shrink that down a little bit more. Grab. No, uh, escape. E to extrude. Grab, shrink it down a lot. And we are going to shrink it on the X axis as well. Now, as you can see, this looks very boxy, very, very blocksy. And I don't want that uh, here. Also, I don't like these being down that low. So let's uh, scale on the Z axis and then grab on the Z axis. Scale, Z axis. Give it a little bit smoother look, just like that. That looks looks better. Not quite what I had in mind. I'm going to add a second modifier. So come over here, add a second modifier, and we're going to add um, a sub serif, just like that. Um, I'm also going to come over and I want to have a smooth texture. So hit tab to come out of edit mode and then shading. We're going to select smooth, just like that. There we go. Now, if we go back into tab, I should be able to grab these back ends like this. I'm going to hit E to extrude, pull those out, scale those up just a little bit. And I don't like where that vertice is at. So I'm going to switch over to this vertice, grab like that kind of give that more of an oval shape towards the back just because I, I want it to be more like rockets than anything uh, grab that down like that now uh, let's do one more extrude on the back extrude scale that down there we go just like that now that looks weird I don't I, mm -mm. nope don't like that at all so I'm gonna hold alt and grab that, scale it on the X axis. Uh, hold Alt and click. It's a right click. We're just gonna grab that down like that and scale. Oh no, I, no, 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 Control Z that, undo. All right, whoa, whoa. That looks kinda cool but that's going to mess up our textures. So Control Z, undo. Oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> um, by the way, the way I'm moving the camera around is I'm pressing in on the wheel. So you press press in on the wheel to move around. Um, let's grab this one right here. Grab this one right there. Um, not really, Not really loving that shape right there. That's uh, not good. Okay, uh, let's hit this face. We're gonna grab these three and I'm just going to hit E to extrude these out. I'm going to rotate on the Y axis. Extrude them out some more, scale them down just a little bit. Rotate on the Y axis again. Extrude, just like this. And I'm gonna start grabbing and pulling towards the front. Extrude. Grab towards the front, scale down just a little bit. <coughs> it doesn't, that doesn't look right. Um, hold on, let's grab these right here. Uh oh, not that back one. I don't, I don't need, no, not those. What are you doing? Get out of there. That one there. And let's just grab those down. Um, scale. On the X axis. It looks a little bit more stream, right? There we go. Scale. Let's, oh, no, no, no. Don't delete the vertices. Scale on the Z axis as well. And let's go ahead and switch back to the vertices. I'm going to grab these, pull them in, re reel those in just a little bit. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. That's good. Okay, that's look that's looking a little bit better. I like it. 
we'll grab these and pull them back a little bit right there to give it more of a, a swooped shape. Pull these out like that. Grab these, pull them in just like that. Oh, 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 come on, I want to grab both of those, please. So that looks pretty good. Pretty nice. Let's grab this one and just pull it way out like that. And then, uh, can we subdivide these, I wonder? So I've, I've selected basically two faces right here. I'm going to hit that subdivide button. That way I can manipulate this just a little bit more. I'm going to extrude this out. Extrude. It looks looks like it's got alien antennas. And now it looks backwards. That's not the direction I was going. I wanted to go that way forward. <laughs> Alright, control Z that. Control Z, control Z. Uh, and then let's just take and crush this down just a little bit. There we go. Maybe that one needs to... No, I don't like that either. Crush this down just a little. Uh, that one... No, no, I don't like it. Don't like it at all. Let's go back to the subdivide and get it out of there. There we go. Controls you that last movement as well. There we go. Grab this one. Pull it over like that. We're back to a, a basic. Let's scale this and grab Z. That looks. Yeah, it's okay. That's good. Yeah, yeah, I like that. That's good. Okay, and then we'll make the, the cockpit up here. Um, let's do this. I want these to be thinner as we get out towards the end of the wing. That's not what I wanted right there. So let's scale on the Z-axis just like that. I'm going to rotate them just a little bit. And then I'm going to extrude them again. Grab on the y-axis, just like that. Oh, that looks nice. That looks cool. Grab that out just a little bit. There we go. So that's that's now the shape of our ship. I like it. Looks amazing. Okay. So let's come out of tab mode. And just real quick to show you what this looks like rendered. <clears throat> that's kind of what what shape we were going for. So now we need to paint it. Hold on. I need to I need to There we go. Recenter my camera. Oh, it's still not centered quite enough. There we go. Okay. That that should be good. So, to um let's do file save as we're just going to call this ship 3. Ship 3 in Blender, and always make sure that you save your stuff and then move on. Save your stuff, move on, because if you don't save, you're going to you're going to like mess up eventually. I promise it will happen. Um, I don't like the way this is swooped, because from the top it just it doesn't look sharp enough. So let's let's see what I can do right here. Grab that one. Grab that one. It looks like it's still. There we go. Pull that up just a little bit. Pull that one up a little bit. That looks sharper. I like it. Good. Now, uh, file save one more time. I'm going to switch from default to UV editing. Okay. What UV editing is, it's going to take this image over here and it's going to unwrap it onto an image over here. Now right now I don't have an image so I'm just going to do new ship 3 texture like that. It's going to be 1024 by 1024 which is more than enough for us to actually do something with. Um, and then over here what do I need to do? I need to go into edit mode. Mesh. No. Oh select all. Mesh UV unwrap, and we're going to choose smart UV projection. Can we just do unwrap? 
Hmm. Let's not do that. Let's do um, mesh smart UV unwrap. Okay, there we go. This way it kind of unwraps it and unfolds it into parts and pieces. Now what we can do is we can distinguish a, um, a line or a seam. So if I were to hold Alt, right there is pretty good. Right there. Uh-oh, uh -oh, that was Control Z, that one. Uh, hold Alt and right click. Nope, nope, that's horrible. All right, let's just do all like that. It does a pretty good job of unwrapping, but we're going to have to determine where all these pieces are. So if we come over here, we should be able to do, where's my paintbrushes? Mm, we're currently in view. Switch over to paint and your tools over here on the left hand side. You can choose different colors. Um, hold on. This is not in textured mode. So I'll switch to textured mode and you can kind of see what it's going to look like over here. Um, let's see, where, where did I just paint at? Hmm. All right, let's paint this in. It's not showing up for some reason. Why is it not showing up? Oh, uh, material? No, not material. Rendered? Nope, that's not it either. Oh gosh. Killing me smalls. Is there one last thing that I need to do? Mm, texture three texture. Uh, hold on. Let's do strength 100. Just color this all in right here. And I think this is the bottom. Um, can we color? Yeah, there we go. This is the top. So the reason we couldn't see this down here is because there's no light on it. So uh, I'm going to hit A. No, I'm going to hit Tab to come out of that mode. I'm going to hit Shift D to duplicate this, this light right, right here. And nope. We're going to Control Z, grab X. Nope, X. Pull it across like that. And then we're going to Shift D and Z axis so we can see the bottom just like that. Um, now, not so much the bottom do I care about, but since it's unraveled and unwrapped, I'll go ahead and color it in. I don't like this color. Um, let's go, let's go with, uh, let's, uh, yeah, with that color, right? Ooh, that's a nice purple. Okay, and I'm going to turn the radius way up. We're just going to paint this whole thing in. Whole thing purple. Good. Just like that. So we've got like a white red. We've got a green. Now this one's going to be a purplish color. And you can zoom in and get like a really fine radius. Like that. So if we look right here, this should highlight the area that that it is over here. Maybe. I could be wrong. Oh gosh, it's like so hard to see because it's now purple. So let's uh, let's just grab a different color. Uh, let's grab black. And right there. Is that where we're at? Let's bring this up just a little bit to about there. Whoa, too big, too big. Uh, Pull it back down to seven, maybe. There we go. So, if we go all the way up here to the edge, right around like this, this will be the cockpit. And we can bring this down just a little bit. This is, this is just a rough edit. All right, don't think that this is the finished product. So right there. 
Uh, it shows kind of a turn like that. And if you want to, you can come over here and you can actually paint directly on the uh, vertex paint. Uh oh, uh oh, maybe not. Uh, hold on. Where's the, let's go to object mode, edit mode. There should be a way that I can paint directly on it. Texture paint. Uh oh. Missing texture detected. What? What? Hold on. Where's my, uh, where's my texture? Gotta select the texture. Yeah. Let's go back into edit mode. <laughs> it's just easier for me to do it over here. So that was down too far. Let's uh, let's go ahead and pick up the color that we had before. Where is the oh, that's texture? Texture mask, paint stroke, paint curve. Um, am I not going to be able to pick up the color? Where's the where's the mixer? I should be able to get it just right. There we go. That's good. What that will do... Let's switch back. We can switch in between the two colors. There we go. Just like that. And then I can fill this in just like this. Then, let's see, because this is a nice, nice color. I'm going to need to find this back end right here, which should be right about here. I'm just going to color this in like that. Darken that in. And that is going to be our engines on the back. There we go. And this needs to come up like that. Wait, where's that at? Do, 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 do. All right, let's control Z that. <clears throat> so now, on the top of the wing, I can do like a symbol or something. So let's switch colors for just a second. Let's go with a like a dark blue. And I really like like more fine hair. Can I let's do um three three pixels big. I really like the uh like tribal signs or the tribal kind of things that so let's uh let's do a couple of little tribals like this and with like like I said before we are going to turn these into more details after we export them oh excuse me and then let's do this oh no I don't like I mm -mm, control Z that last one there we go just like that so that's what it's going to start to look like on the top for a design and then let's do like a circle thing like this And then we can do an actual like circle. Some kind like that, maybe. And then um, there should be a fill button just like this. Uh oh, but it's that that's not what I wanted to fill. Get off of there. Uh, let's do a light blue. Nice. There we go. That looks cool. I like it. 
Now, um, because we've got, let's go back over to um, texture like that. Because we've got stuff up here, I'm gonna need to do the same thing. So Control Z. <clears throat> let's do straight line. One, two, like that, and like that. See how that looks. Mm, it's okay. It's not not the best, but like I said, rough draft. I don't like that. Control Z, Control Z. Get some straight lines on here, or some some more curvy lines. There we go. Like that. And then straight line like that. Love it. Love it. All right. Let's go fill those in. Just like that. Whoops. Control Z. Forgot. I got to uh, close this off. Uh oh. I zipped over to a different part, didn't I? That's okay. And let's go back over to the fill. There's the fill. That looks good. So now we have our third bird. Our third ship. So file, save once again. And on this we need to save as well. So image, save image as third ship picture, pic, the third ship three texture, save as image. And that's going to be under my documents blender files so that whoa blurry <clears throat> that should be all that we need for our third ship um like i said i can clean up the details of the pictures this is just a kind of a rough draft um file export and i want to export to a wave front object um, I don't know if there's another one I could use, probably, but let's go ahead and export to a wave front OBJ. Um, I have a Roblox folder, but for now, let's just do let's just do that one. Export. There we go. So it's in it's in the Blender files. Um, the texture is already saved, so minimize come back over to our game now to ooh, control Z okay so to get a comparison of what this thing looks like I'm going to open up my server storage I'm just gonna pull ship 2 into the actual um, let's do copy uh, workspace paste into so here this is what it actually looks like. So you can see that this one was not as refined as my first one, but it does have the designs on it, just like the first one. So let's go ahead and let's drop in a new, oh, hold on, plus mesh. Oh, wait, 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 I can just do an import. Right? Import. Uh, pay no attention to the alpha axe. Uh, documents, Blender files, and ship3.obj. Open. Rescale if too large. Yep. Apply all. There we go. So now, <clears throat> asset, ha asset has been renamed to meshes slash something. Okay, so um, right click, no, nope, not right click, plus, I'm just going to type out mesh, mesh part, right there's our mesh part object, and now I can come over to mesh ID, open folder, oh wait, 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 don't I already have, have, all right, we can do it again, that's fine. Uh, it's too, your mesh contains local data. Would you like your mesh given the location? Yes. And nice. So now that's what our new ship looks like. Looks amazing, guys. It looks so cool. <laughs> that is 
That is truly amazing. Truly awesome. I love it so much. Okay. So, um, this one here, this is actually ship two. I'm going to rename to ship three. And I'm going to delete that mesh part. Grab this mesh part and drop it in there just like that. Um, now, I don't know if that's going to work or not. So, let's go ahead. Now, there, it should it should bind because there's an actual object here and then there's an actual mesh object. So, like this could be way off center and it will it should still work just fine. So, um, the thing that we're going to need is this image right here. I have to make one of those. So, thank you so much for the subscribe. Whoever you were, you're amazing and awesome and I love you. And I think you're you're just so cool. Okay. Um, to test for right now, let's go ahead and just do cut. I'm going to paste this into uh, ship two. I'm just going to rename to underscore backup. And ship three, I'm just going to rename to ship two, just for now. Then we're going to hit F5. I'm going to play. Now, if I hit this one, it should be our new ship. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, that, that it doesn't do it justice. Hold on, let's pull this out. There you go. This is this is what it should look like in game. We're at 32 minutes. Um, something I am going to do is I'm going to change this uh, this fire texture, and I'm going to change its photons. So we're going to have photon three and uh, a different kind of fire coming out the back. So let's go ahead and pull this back down, put this back where we found it. Come on, get in there. Uh, hit stop. So <clears throat> let's rename this back to ship three. Ship three. This is going to be renamed back to ship two. Uh, let's go to the interface. Do, 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 do. Start a GUI. GUI pack. Mm, select ship menu. Frames. And the button for the Firebird, the Arachnid. We're going to right click and duplicate. And then we're just going to pull that off to the side, just like that. About the same amount of distance in between each other. Good. Um, now, what am I gonna call this one? So this one is the Firebird. This one is the Arachnid. Uh, this one shall be the, um, what's purple? Something purple. Um, Shadow. Should we just call it Shadow? Yeah, Shadow is good. And uh, I need to change the actual icon. So um, back over in Blender, I'm just going to, uh, let's see here. Let's take the camera. Let's go where the camera is. I'm going to grab the camera. Well, let's, let's switch over to uh, default view. There we go. Okay, so in default view, you're not going to see the texture unless you hit texture. Uh, this I'm going to grab, um, no, alt R to reset the grab or reset the rotate alt G to reset the grab. And then I'm going to hit G and Z to grab on the Z axis. I'm going to hit zero so I can see it. Grab Z again, just like that. Now, if I hit render, just like this, that renders me an image. Um, let's go over to this thing right here. Uh, no, I want to go to world and the horizon. I'm going to change to pure green. No red, no blue, just like that. Now if I hit F like that again, there we go. So now I can do, um, actually here. F5 to render. 
now I have an image file save as we're gonna call this text uh, ship 3 shadow just like that so now I can minimize that let's open up some GIMP Um, inside GIMP, I'm going to need to open up that um, image that I just rendered. I hope you guys saw that. So file, um, open. And where did we save that as? Hold on. Image, save image as. It was under these this folder right here. Uh, control, copy. There we go. Minimize. Now I should be able to... Go into code P documents, documents, documents. No. Wait, where was it again? What? What? Okay. Code P OneDrive documents blender files. Code P OneDrive documents blender files. And then there's the shadow. Open. So <clears throat> Use my magic tool right here. We're going to select the whole green area because it's all green. And then I'm going to do, um, let's see, delete image. Uh, no, um, select, which is going to be invert, just like that. Then I'm going to grab a paintbrush and make it really large. Thank you for the subscribe. And just do it all over like that. So it's nice and shadowy. Perfect. Now, I don't remember if I had white backgrounds or transparent backgrounds, but I'm going to leave it. Actually, let's go back over here. Yeah, I'm just going to, I'm going to leave it. Um, but we do need to rotate this. So let's go do control shift L and I'm going to do the rotation symbol, which is right here. And angle is going to be 180, just like that. Rotate. And now I should be able to go image um, zealous crop. Ooh, that did not like that. Uh, I guess I need to anchor it first, don't I? Oof. There we go. Image uh, crop to content. Too much. Too much. Z image zealous crop. Too much. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this just like that. Control shift L to pick it up. I'm going to move it into the best spot that I can think of. And then if I select again, I'll just make the box about even on both sides. And there we go. Image crop to selection, just like that. Um, now it looks like there's a green outline around it. It's there's not file save just in case I need to edit it. File export because you have to have an actual PNG of it, not an XCF file, which is a GIMP file. Export. It already exists. Replace it. Export again. All right. So now we go to import and chip three shadow. Import. Now I should be able to hit this button shadow and just change its texture right there all the way down ooh looks amazing looks awesome now is there a border around it there is a border around it oh my gosh that's amazing okay <laughs> sorry I get really excited when things go well now um, there should be the ship selection there we go um, connect function, replicate, fire server player. Okay. Res firebird event. Res. Okay, so we're going to need to btn firebird equals this frame dot firebird. Hold on. Well, how do we get the arachnid? Oh, I guess I guess I don't really need it because I'm literally okay. And I really don't need that either because we don't use this at all. So there is the first one for the Firebird. There's the second one for the uh, Arachnid. 
and this one is going to be for the shadow. So we're going to change the button to shadow. Shadow. Like that. And shadow event. So we need to go look in replicated storage. Replicated storage, just like that. And we're going to duplicate. Change the name. Oh, 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 come here. Change the name to Shadow. By the way, I'm totally giving away the secrets of uh, how this is being set up. Um, and then under my gaming functions, um, there we go. Paste. I can take this portion out and just do dot res as shadow event. All right. <clears throat> if ship equals two, then ship equals ship two. Okay. If ship select equals three, then copy, paste. Else if, else if ship select equals two. So that should work, maybe, possibly. I don't know if that's gonna work or not. It doesn't sound right. What is it, what is it waiting for here? Oh, then, then. There we go, try this. Okay, that didn't work, stop. What did I do wrong? Uh, Firebird, Arachnid, Shadow. Okay, let's go back over to the game functions. Uh, ship select, if ship select equals three. Oh, 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 we didn't fire the event. All right, so, res Firebird. Resurrected. Here we go. Copy, paste, three. There we go. And then we need this one right here. Copy, paste. And this is going to be res shadow event on server. And we're going to res shadow. Just like that. Hope that works. Nice. Okay, so let's go hit the kill switch and just make sure we didn't mess up number two. Who does number two work for? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Attempted to res ship a null value. Dang it. Res ship player two. Else if ship select equals two. Hmm. I'm going to have to use a different select statement there, aren't I? All right. Let's just try number two and see if it works. It does not. Res shadow event. Okay, hold on. Let's go here. Res shadow event. Oh, pfft, silly goose. Okay, okay. Res shadow. Wait, where's res shadow event? Ah, res shadow event, res shadow, here we go. Res shadow event on an event, shadow, shadow, shadow. Okay, hopefully, stop. Oh, wait, did I not? I hate it when I do that. If you have your game playing at the same time that you start editing code, it never works correctly. Shadow, red shadow, red shadow event, F5, away we go, number two, got it, good. Now, if a lot of you are confused as to, as to what I'm doing or like how I'm doing it, don't worry, it's actually confusing for me. <laughs> but, these will have 
things in common. Like it's it's going to be awesome, eventually. I promise. Uh, I'm still working on it. Um, let's go into the ship three event. Um, let's see here. Where is photons? Photons. Photons are under server storage, right there. Photon two. Let's go ahead and copy. I'm going to put this out into the workspace. Paste into. Woo. And as you can see, this is the this is the neat little ball that uh, the arachnid shoots. So we are going to change this photon two. We're going to rename it to photon three. And its particle effect is going to be, um, let's do, let's do a dark purple. Can we do, can we do a dark purple like that? And I don't like the sparkle, so let's do, I guess we're going to have to do a sparkle, aren't we? Is there any way to do none? No sparkle? Um, particle emitter, transparency, size, let's do two, and light influence, ten. No, it turns it blue. Light influence, one. And let's see, is there is there a, a way to do, oh, it's like light emission. Let's do a five for light emission. And transparency, that'll be fine. The photon color itself is really blue. We're gonna change that to really purple. <laughs> uh, size should be one by one by one. All the bullets, the main bullets should be the same size. Um, we do have a script in here that destroys things whenever it hits. I'm not, I'm not gonna be using this as the, the thing. I'm going to change that up. So, but for now, body gyro, body position. This keeps it on the same plane as everything else. Uh, point light is going to be purple as well. And I think, I think that's it. So let's go ahead and cut that out of there. Go back into server storage and paste into. Now for ship three, let's go down to its thrusters. The fire is currently that bright green color. I'm going to change that to that dark purple that we like. Like that. Um, the secondary color we're going to have as a neon pink. Just like that. And let's change... No, that's good. That's good. Uh, thrusters should be fine. Where is the fire? There we go. So this is where we shoot. And we're going to change this to Photon 3. Hopefully this works. Fingers crossed. Everything goes well. It's got a nice purple flame coming off the back. And we've got particle effect. Purple shot. That looks amazing. And you can see, like, everything that this thing is hitting. I mean, these are debug things that I'm putting into the game at the moment. Anyhow. Eventually, everything's going to have a variable speed. Everything's going to have different health rates and stuff like that. So, that's it for now. I think... I think I may have gone too far in this video. Maybe, maybe gave you guys too much. But I don't know. If, it's, if it was boring, tell me it was boring. If it was not boring and it, you were interested in it, tell me you were interested in it. I don't know how to gauge this kind of video. I mean, we're at 50 minutes and... <laughs> Did you like it? Did you not like it? Tell me what you think. I need to know. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. I love you guys very much. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out, but it doesn't really matter because it's your choice. I love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. Outro.
Thank you.